we will show how ExtremeOS can be used for geographic data processing. GAPLAS is XLAB's virtual globe application and in this case we are interested in, uh, in the backend. In the usual use case, somebody, for example an urban planning department, would like to publish some new data. This first has to go through uh, the data preparation service and then it is served to the client via standard HTTP based protocols. The data preparation consists of first reprojecting and tiling the data into smaller uh, areas, then combining the tiles for a lower resolution, and finally conversion. In total we get a workflow of uh, raster operations. This will run on XLAB's private cloud, which runs the core node and multiple resource nodes, and on the other side we have a, a, a normal Ubuntu laptop. So a citizen checks the municipality web pages to see whether the new plans have been published. No, they haven't, because they should have appeared in this right column. So the urban planner will first create new plans. In this case, we will just use GIMP to draw a new road. He has to avoid existing buildings as much as possible. Now saves the new plans and copies them to ExtremeFS volume. This ExtremeFS volume is mounted directly on his Ubuntu laptop so he can access it normally. This is a remote copy operation after which the plans will be accessible by the backend. In the meantime we can check out one of the administrative web-based interfaces of ExtremeOS. We see here a list of nodes in the system in our grid and a list of rules that we can be notified of. The last rule, GIS Data Ready, is specific for this application and is fired when the data processing is done. This rule is so important that we would also like to be notified over XMPP. So we put our address here. And we can format the notification in any way we like using a normal Java format string. Now the other rules consist uh, include, for example, the system CPU usage, job failed, job unit finished, job unit started. These are probably the most uh, interesting ones for us. And already some uh, values for system CPU usage are coming in, and we can also draw this on a graph. We'll draw this for the core node. A chart is being created, and here it is. Now let us start the workflow. The workflow is implemented as a shell script. It first makes a reservation and then launches the reprojection and tiling jobs. And immediately the CPU usage has gone up. We can also monitor the execution on a map where each resource is shown at its location. In this case locations are fake because all the nodes are actually in the same room. But in general you would see the location. And you get notifications for each note individually. This processing takes quite some time, so we have to wait a bit now. The first job has finished, as you can see in the notification area of the note with IP85. Another one
all the reprojectile jobs are done and we immediately start the next stage of processing. The last stage is conversion. This one is finished as well. And yes, we got the notification into our XMPP client. It could also go to any other XMPP client, such as your smartphone. The citizen refreshes the municipality web page. Indeed, the new plans are available. He clicks the link and the viewer is started. The plans will be served to the viewer directly from ExtremeFS, so they did not need to be copied anywhere after processing. And as soon as he zooms in enough, the new plans are displayed.